All right, my friends. Well, we are at Hilltop in Oakland, Tennessee, and they always have something cool and interesting here. And I am going to go through here and take a look. Uh, I've not had any of the blackened yet. I plan to try to get a pour of it. We're going to be in Kentucky next week. Hey, look at that good looking guy up there. Um, and hopefully I will be able to find one. There should be lots of places to try different things. So uh, I won't get to go to Calumet, not Calumet this time, but uh, we'll be going to the Derby. So doing a little bit of humble bragging today. Uh, maybe I'll get a chance to do that. Let's get a little close up of these barrels. Got to try several of these. And I will, uh, they're sneaking up closely, stocking the shelves right now, uh, coming up beside me. So, uh, try a little bit of this Jefferson's Oceans. Uh, you know, the agency, not terrible uh, at the beginning. Uh, it was not crazy about the finish at the end. So, uh, got some of the Elijah Craig. Uh, I've not had the straight rye. I, I, I didn't mind the, uh, I didn't mind the, I didn't mind it. I mean, for the for the price, uh, it, it's a good it's a good mid range beer. So I think this I found this out the other day. This is a five digits. Uh, that is Scotty Pippins. I didn't know that. So that's Scotty Pippins. So if you are interested in Scotty Pippin, uh, there's a little bit of uh, his uh, let's see, I guess bourbon whiskey. Uh, <clears throat> and yes, never trust a bottle that needs a belt to keep its label on, even if it is a rodeo belt. So that's Burning Chair, uh, Bourbon Journey, they, they, he was talking about that and they were talking about it wasn't too bad. This is a full range of the Balconies, which I still haven't tried any of these. Uh, I, I don't have anything to say about it other than, you know, it seemed like it was kind of a fad for a while and then everybody either hated it or loved it, so I don't know. Uh, got the Joseph Magnus, not the cigar blend, uh, still wanted to catch that somewhere. Uh, haven't had much of the rabbit hole either. I've been hearing a lot about this ammunition. Might try to do something with that here. I've uh, got the old Ezra. I've got a sample of the Kentucky Owl that I'm waiting for to share with my brother. Uh, Buffalo Chip. i got the Harlem Standard. The High and Wicked I don't recognize. So, anybody knows anything about that? The Judge. Love the name of that. The Judge. The Jury. Hmm. Let's see. The Wild Rover. All right. And then we kind of get into the Scotch. So, we'll wait on there. Got the Middle West Bourbon Cream, and there's Middle West Spirits. Um, I, I, let me know if I should get this, because this is right in, my, right in my price range, and I've heard a lot about Middle West now. I know they got the Pumpernickel and some of the others, so uh, some of the Woodenville. That's a blend in on that. I heard that that's, uh, someone used an inappropriate term to, to, to say that last night, something about Kentucky, Nash Tucky or something, but not, not, not great. Uh, we're going to go to Michter's next week, um, so um, I might have a new appreciation. Might be able to try some of it. Uh, they got some of the old Forester here, uh, purple, orange, purple top. Hmm, interesting. I got this bottle at the house. I uh, uh, double char. I think this is the one I have. Love the bottle. Good sipping. Let's see here. We got 129. No hazmats in there, so it's okay though. Got to need that proof to cut that banana. All right, I'm going through here. I right, got plenty of this here. This is another one, the Reverend on here. Anybody had any of this? Uh, like that bottle, nice. Uh, we might stop by Bullet. Someone said that Bullet was a great place to go. You guys will have to tell me otherwise. You know, when I drink the 1792, to me it's hotter than Stag sometimes. It just drinks hotter. You, you know, that's just me. Uh, gross. And let's see the Uncle Nearest. Let's see, the Tennessee Spirits Company. I don't know anything about that. Uh, got that Woodford. I, I imagine we're going to go to Woodford, too. I, I can't imagine us going all the way up there and not stopping mm -hmm. at uh, Woodford. It's my brother's uh, favorite. So we had a really good time last time we were there. I got some great glasses and had some great pours while we were at their bar. We didn't get to do a tour. I don't think we'll get to do a tour this time. We were uh, going. Um, need to know what... Uh, heard a lot about wheel horse lately this is really this is really on my radar i think uh i may try to grab a bottle of this uh while we're up there in that general direction especially since it's in owensboro we might be driving through there so maybe we can get a pour of it at least try it uh not tried this i did try this so good it's gone any dunkers no dunkers up there so but that is the uh the cast drink so and i think there's a good chance we're going to go to 
the Maker's Mark as well. I mean, uh, yeah, Maker's Mark place as well. Um, got the Four Roses, which a lot of people either hate or love. And it seems like that's how all whiskey is to me. You either love it or hate it. So everybody should have a little wild turkey. You know, I don't... I, you know, I don't think I've ever noticed the rye before. I mean, I'm sure it's always been there. I just never... That green label stuck out to me for some reason. Got the Russell's Reserve. I'm uh, definitely going to probably run about wild turkey and uh, maybe try to get something up while we're up there. I doubt we'll get the 13, but, you know, that's my favorite, one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to go to Larceny or Heaven Hill and, and pour our own bottle. That's a done deal, so that's going to be exciting. Get to pour my own bottle, put my name on it. Uh, a little of that. Some of the Dickel. Got a new new uh, appreciation for Dickel after having to do a competition with it in there. Kind of busted out our taste buds. Uh, we might go by Cast on Key. I don't know. We're, we're going to be just, we don't really have a, a set plan. We have like two or three places that we've set uh, appointments for, and we're just going to kind of run in there and see. Uh, so on the 26th of February, uh, Bruzel is coming to Memphis and he's going to do a pick at Old Dominic. I've already signed up to, to go do that. So you can go on there on the, his uh, Patreon and you can join for free or you can be a paid. And I think 200 people are going to be there. So I will 100% be there to help pick that uh, barrel, which is exciting. And this Wyoming whiskey is another one that, uh, I want to say that Nancy Fraley had something to do with this, but... I could be misspeaking, and I'm sure I will get blown up in the comments when I'm wrong. Um, haven't had any of the Yellowstone yet. Really want to try some of that. Um, not really had any of the um, Chattanooga either. So there's the bourbon cream. They got Buffalo Trace. And they got the big, gigantic bottle. And uh, 10 AC or 10 AC. I'm not sure. This uh, Cooper's Craft. You should definitely own some of this. Uh, got the Blue Note. Heaven Hill, it's a great price on that. You don't see it much here on that. And there's Old Soul, which I don't see that much either. Um, and then we got a lot of the flavored stuff. So we will go quickly through there. And go have uh, Oreo cookies. Oh gosh. I just, I don't know. I just don't know how you do it. Ugh. I don't drink mixed drinks anymore either. That's another thing. I, I, I probably need to get a mixed drink so I can stop talking smack. So seems like last time I was here, somebody said there was a bottle of Jim Beam I should have gotten. I don't think it was the Black Label or the Double Oak. Um, got a little of the Red Stag here. That's nice. i got a good feeling we're going to see some more Stag here today. Uh, get a chance. Got to grab you some of that Evan Williams. The bottle didn't buy. Someone said, I think the Green Label is only available in uh, Tennessee? No, I can't be right. Maybe that's Jim Beam. Very old Barton's. There's my dad's juice. You know, when I talk about my dad, I'm always going to bring up, uh, uh, you know, maybe like and subscribe to this channel if you like. Uh, I'm going to try to do 30 days um, in a row, and uh, if I can, and just try to just shoot in a different store every single time, I'm going to branch out quite a bit. So if you get a chance, like and subscribe. There's that bare face. Um, Canadian Chris needs to try this and tell me if this is what I should get. A lot of people were talking about it before, saying it was good stuff. Here, got that big old, big old Tennessee select. I love that bag because I'm from Tennessee and it's not that horrible orange. I'm gonna slide this guy out of the way. And there's the lead slingers. I think this is the only place I've been that has all of the lead slingers. That's a pretty good price on there. I got the. What does that say? Oh, it says 40. I didn't know what that, what creek that was. Sorry about that. Got a little, little granddad there. I got the, got the barrel proof. Got the. I had a, I had a pour of that thanks to a, uh, a good friend of mine, and it, it was delicious. So right, we got the redemption, and we've got some of the stuff down here. So let's go through here and look at some of the scotch and some of the Irish whiskey. <laughs> Shanky's Whip, how awesome is that? That that might be uh, something I buy just to have the bottle. I mean, that looks like something that was that. Somebody tell me. I gotta know. Is this a, is this a, is this okay to buy? I mean, twenty eight bucks. That's that's that, that's cheap enough. I don't get in trouble with the wife, especially with that bottle. I love that bottle. That's great. So, you tell me. Even if it's bad, I just have it up there to look. Look at that log of and Good looking stuff up there. All right. That's another one that I always want to call it Pin Dragon, but got the R. Nice. Here, 
All right, and then while we're going through the scotch and people, don't, you know, hopefully they don't fast forward it too much, uh, you can always <laughs> sheep dip. <laughs> uh, we have a growing Discord. Uh, a lot of people are in there. We're having a great time talking about everything from uh, whiskey to tequila to uh, rum to um, just about everything you can imagine. Food. Uh, you can go in here and really we're just having a really good time with all of it so uh, come in join there's different channels for each city if you have a city that you live in we just started Little Rock we have I'm gonna start Nashville today we have Memphis we have the states Michigan and and different ones as well so that would be fun to uh, kind of go in there and uh, help each other hunt which is what it's all about if you have something you know that you can get uh, that looks a lot like uh, like avocado uh, dip and that is definitely cheese dip. I don't big orange cheese dip. And that's gonna be a bit much for me. So alright. And I'll make this joke again. Uh, you older people remember going to the barber and seeing the combs and the blue liquid. I never knew that that was uh, moonshine the whole time. Alright they got a pretty good selection of tequila here. This is probably one of the better places for tequila. So uh, everybody knows I'm looking for a, a bottle of tequila for probably at the end of this hunt going to every store gonna kind of look in the tequilas and just kind of see if there's something I should get uh, I love this uh, I love this bottle I don't know that I could uh, talk the wife into that the CFO usually says no all right I'm gonna do another kind of quick pour it was one that had a coke bottle glass I really like that the look of that bottle and I can't remember where I saw it. I'm sure I'll see it because I'm going literally to every store I can and branching out even farther, especially on the weekends. I'm going to be going a lot farther out than I normally would on there. So, all right. Well, that is pretty close. I'm going to skip rum this time because I'm going to go and do the walk behind the counter where they have all their allocated stuff. And we will see. Well, you know what? Before I do that, let me kind of go over here because I think that I did this last time and someone asked... What was something that was specifically? Oh, you know what? There is the rum. So, the Appleton. And there's the rare cast. So, you guys let me know. That's another good one right there. So, they've got the bullet. No dunkers. Uh, oh, you know what? They also, last time I was here, she had talked about setting up her bar over here. And I think they're starting to do it. So, uh, it's going to be exciting. So, they're going to be able to do some samples over here. I like this a lot. So they have a cool little area over here. And uh, look at this. It's like it's telling me I got to buy it. I don't know. This may may end up on my shelf here. All right. Well, I'm going to go over here and take a look behind the counter and see where all the allocated stuff is. And, you know, see if there's anything cool over here. All right. Well, a quick addendum. They got a box that just showed up right here. They have the uh, Old Forester 1924 10-year-old. And it's going to be uh, $131.99. So... Uh, I think they only have one box, so if you're going to get them, you better get them quick. So, All right, guys. Thanks. All right, you can kind of see how the counter is here. So now you see why I'm walking like a crazy person. So but they got the Rock Hill Farms. They've got the Kitakiao. they got the Knob Creek 18. They've got the Barrels. Got the Bib and Tucker. They've got some Eagle Rare. Make sure I get the price of Eagle Rare. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm going to have to hold on to that because I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Let's see. Yeah. Got the each Taylor. Got the Blantons. Got the, got a little stag up there. Got the 2XO. They do have the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. I'm going to have to reach up here and get this and see. Oh. Got the Booker's Oak. I believe that's the Mighty Fine Batch. They got the, the Special Reserve. They got the Weller 12. They got the Jack Daniels McLaren. They've got the two distillers. They got the High West. They got that Larceny Barrel Proof up there. They got the Popcorn Sutton. They got the Glen Morangi. And they got these are tequilas that come through here. And look at that bottle, man. That is awesome. Alright, so all right, I'm gonna kind of go through here real quick. Real quick. I'm gonna once again I'll be in uh, Kentucky next week. If you know any place I should go or any place I should be hanging out, let me know. And thank you guys so much for uh, just uh, watching my videos and hitting that thumbs up and, and subscribing. We're growing incredibly fast, and I am incredibly blessed by it. Thank you so much. It's launching, my friends.